Hello everyone, this is Nick from QBM and on this video we are going to show you how to mark events for Never Recycle and how to back up multiple events. So the first thing we need to do is log into a user that has enough rights to access our view log. Typically an admin user. If we go down to our bubble menu on the bottom right the third from the right is our view log. Let's access that with a click. It'll pull up this menu. Go ahead and click on the video audio log tab. As I mentioned in a video before, if you get this error message and you do not have audio hardware connected to your GeoVision system, do not worry about it. It does not apply to you. Go ahead and click OK. Now we have pulled up our view log. And if we go to the top right, we can choose the camera that our footage would be on. Go ahead and drop the menu down and choose from the menu right there. The menu beneath that is a calendar menu. You can go ahead and click on that and click your month and the day that your events are on. If you notice, we're on October 22nd. Then we go to the menu below that, and that has all our stored events for that day. We're going to go down here and click on the event we'd like to save, highlight it, and then we're going to right click it. And if you notice right here, you'll see a mark never recycle tab. What that allows us to do is save our footage infinitely without being recorded over until we choose to delete it. You can do that for multiple events. Mark is never recycle. And we're going to do that for another camera as well to save multiple events over multiple cameras. So go up to the top and drop your menu down and choose your second camera. And we'll go down to the events on this camera as well. Click on them. Right click on them. Mark is never recycle. And then we will go down to the bottom bubble on our bubble menu. This will be our backup bubble. Click on that. As you can see here, our backup tab pops up. You can save and backup to a CD. That is a way to do it. The best way to backup footage is to save it to a secondary place on your hard drive. So let's go ahead and click the Using Hard Disk tab. And if you see the menu beneath us right here, I'll highlight it. This shows where our footage will be stored and the name of the folder. If you go to the Bubble tab to the right of that, you can choose that personally. So I'm going to choose to save to the desktop. Drop to the menu beneath us where you see backup folder name. It's a big long name. Whenever GeoVision is setting up the name for you on a stored event, it will automatically go to the date and time. And it's a little bit confusing at times, so I like to name it something nice and easy where I will never forget. And then from there, we'll drop down. What you'll see here is an Include Player tab. What that allows us to do is to include software that will allow the footage to be played. If you choose the single player feature, you will only be allowed to play a single camera at a time and a single event. What the View Log tab allows us to do is it will bring something that looks almost exactly identical to what we're using right now in the View Log with us and we can pick multiple cameras from there with multiple events. Let's go down to the Add Time Frame tab. And from here, you'll see that there's a start time and an end time with date and time. So you can pick an event from one day to two days to an hour to a minute. It's up to you. And then if you go to the right, you'll see it has all the cameras that you can choose from on your system. And within our time frame, that we have selected presently, it shows the number of events within that time frame and the total amount of storage it would take to save them all at once. Now, if you remember before, we marked events for never recycle. And we, reci we set those dates on the 22nd of October. So we'll go ahead and get our start time to the 22nd and our end time to the 22nd. And then we'll go down to the tab down here for Never Recycle Events Only. We'll click that. 
if you notice what that did was filter out all of our events which we did not mark on every camera and we're down to the four events that we did mark as never recycle on the 22nd if you go down here if you just have video you can go ahead and just click video event and then OK from there we need to actually save the footage so we will go over here and click OK what that's doing now is saving to our folder we created earlier the test 2 folder in this case backup items are stored let's go ahead and click OK now let's go ahead and exit out of our view log just minimize out of GeoVision and up here on our desktop you will see our test 2 folder let's go ahead and click on it if you look at the top here is the cameras and the events that we chose to save you can click on the folder and bring it up click on each independent event and it will bring the more simple player up and show you the event as you stored it if we go back into the menu and drop down we are looking for easy view log 500 right here let's go ahead and click on that and again it gives you the audio hardware fail warning it does not apply let's go ahead and click OK and from here just as in our normal view log we can choose from multiple cameras and multiple events come down here and click play pause it and if you come up here to the top right and click on this first bubble right here on the right it looks like two pieces of paper we can get our tree to drop back down and we can choose from our secondary camera and that is how you back up footage